Welcome to the College of Science and Engineering's Career Fair Prep presentation. In this presentation, we will cover what to expect from the career fair and how to navigate the event, including researching employers and creating your introduction. You'll also learn how to prepare by using Handshake, the University of Minnesota's job and internship platform, and how to follow up with employers after the fair. Before the fair, spend some time looking over the CSE Career Services website, specifically the career fair pages, which contain information about prep events occurring the week before the career fair. The Career Services website also includes tips to help you prepare, such as links to both the undergraduate resume guide and the graduate resume guide, CSC resume templates, a career fair prep guide, and a guide to researching employers and industries, and if you're an international student, some career resources for international students, and finally, tips and advice from employers. Before diving into the specifics of the fair, let's talk about some common myths versus facts about attending a career fair. One common myth is all I need to do is show up. While you are still able to attend without preparing, it's recommended that you spend time creating a strategy for how you want to spend your time at the fair. With more than 100 employers at the fair each day, you'll want to know your companies of interest and know if they currently have open positions. It's also smart to do your research on some companies ahead of time so you're able to articulate your knowledge of that company when you're speaking with employers at the fair. At minimum, you'll want to look through the list of companies attending the fair, note the day or days they are attending, and read about them on their websites, LinkedIn, and on Handshake. Another common myth is that you will get an offer at the fair. It's important to note that there are no formal interviews at the fair, but instead, you're creating an impression and a relationship with an employer which could lead to an interview. Getting an offer for an internship, job, or co-op is typically a process which can take from several weeks to a couple of months depending on the position. One last myth is that you should only go to the career fair if you're actively looking for a job. Whether you're actively searching for a position or not, the career fair is a great place to explore industries and discover positions, companies, and alternative career paths that you may not have considered. The reality is that many employers will not have current openings, but they attend the fair to meet with students who they may then follow up with later. Another reality is that employers at the fair are not just looking for seniors who are job seeking. This fall, there are nearly 40 employers who have co-ops available for sophomores and juniors, and many more employers have internships open to students at all class levels. If you're searching for an open position, you can learn what skills employers are seeking and potentially be identified by an employer to move on to next steps. Most employers at previous career fairs reported that they plan to follow up with at least one student, and the majority plan to follow up with between five and 10 students. Finally, the career fair is an ideal setting to practice introducing yourself to professionals by building your network. Most of us are familiar with the term networking, which simply means getting to know people in order to learn more about an opportunity. It's estimated that in the United States, about 80% of open positions are filled by way of networking. Whether you're enthusiastic about networking or not, it is a primary way candidates find open positions. Using job boards such as Handshake, Indeed, or Google is essential in order to learn more about specific positions and to apply for jobs, but as you advance in your career, the majority of positions you'll find will likely involve a personal connection through a professional association or a coworker. Connecting with employers at the career fair is a great way to build your network. You can learn more about the position and company to stand out as a candidate, learn about the hiring process, show your professionalism through communication skills, and follow up with employers for later conversations. Now let's transition into the logistics of how to prepare for the fair and how to use Handshake to make your career fair strategy easier. There are three major steps to take before the fair in order to prepare. First, complete your Handshake profile and then research companies that will be attending the fair. Second, update your resume. And third, create and practice what you'll say when introducing yourself to employers. Let's go through each of these steps. Handshake is the university's job, co-op, and internship platform. Students can use Handshake to apply for jobs, internships, and co-ops, connect with recruiters at companies, and also peers who have interned or worked for companies, find and register for events such as the career fair and employer information sessions, and to research companies. 
As a student at the University of Minnesota, you're able to log into Handshake UMN.edu with your U of M username and password. Go to the My Profile section and complete as much of your profile as possible. In this example, the student has completed the optional About section, which is a summary of key experiences, skills, and goals. Be sure to complete your Education section, including filling in your graduation month and year, also known as the end date, as well as your major or intended major. You can also fill in any details of your previous work, student leadership, or volunteer experience in this section. There's a place to include courses as well as class or personal projects related to your goals. You can also upload your resume to your profile by clicking on Add Documents and check to make sure your privacy settings are set to public so employers can view your profile. It's a good idea to update your profile and upload your resume as soon as possible. Once you upload your resume for the first time, CSC Career Services will automatically review it, give basic feedback, and approve it for applying to positions. CSC Career Services receives many resumes just before the fair, and staff members need time to look them over for approval. Employers typically have interviews shortly after the fair, and you will need an approved resume and handshake in order to apply, so don't wait on this step. Your next step in preparing for the career fair is to research employers. A few ways of doing this are to search on company websites, look at company profile pages on LinkedIn and on Handshake. If you know someone who works for a particular company, you could also reach out to that person to ask about the hiring process, the company culture, or other information that you're curious about. When researching companies, consider asking questions such as the following. What does the company make or do? Where are they located or headquartered? Why might you be interested in this company? And are there currently open positions? In order to research employers, you'll first want to find the event in Handshake by searching for the College of Science and Engineering Career Fair. Registration for the Career Fair is not required, but it is recommended in order to receive emails with important announcements and details related to the fair. On the main page, you will see options to view all employers in attendance, or you may wish to use the filters available to view employers who are open to hiring international students and for a specific type of employment, such as an internship. You can also choose to filter employers who are open to students with your major field of study within a specific industry, a specific location, and other criteria. Once you've filtered your results, click on any employer title and you'll be directed to the company's profile page in Handshake. You can learn about the employer here and follow employers to get notifications about them. You can view contact information and the positions that are available at the time. From here, you can click on any of these open positions to be taken to a list of available positions. In this example, we can see an IT position for summer 2024. View the position description and consider applying. When researching employers and positions, challenge yourself to research companies that you've never heard of before. They may end up being a good fit for what you're looking for. The next step in preparing for the fair is to update your resume and possibly have it reviewed. The CSE Career Services main page has resources on our website, including templates you can use to create your resume. These templates are the type that should work well for employers who use applicant tracking system software to screen resumes. We also have the resume guides and samples for both undergraduate students and graduate students. Another chance to have your resume reviewed will be at Resume Marathon on Monday, February 5th. This is a chance to meet with an employer for resume feedback. Meetings are scheduled in Handshake by searching for Resume Marathon in the Jobs tab, then going through the steps to sign up for a virtual meeting with an employer. Step in preparing for the fair is to create and practice your introduction or what you plan on saying when you meet employers at the career fair. Your introduction is your chance to talk about your interests and experiences related to the kind of position you are seeking. Even if you are not currently looking for a job or internship, but are attending the fair to learn more about future opportunities, it's smart to have a general idea of what you'll say when you meet with employers. When planning what you want to say, one helpful strategy is to consider using the present, past, future question model. You can speak about your present involvement, including your major, work, or student group experience, your past experience, including the skills you have gained from classwork, projects, previous internships or research, and your future goals, or why you're interested in the position. After you briefly introduce yourself using the present past future model, it's helpful to ask a question to the employer based on your knowledge of the company. An example could sound like this. 
I'm currently in my junior year studying mechanical engineering. I'm also involved in the Society of Women Engineers as the group treasurer. This can be a good time to also ask if they'd like to see your resume. Last semester, I worked part-time in a research lab within the mechanical engineering department while also working on the solar car project. My research experience taught me how to manage data collection related to hybrid vehicle use, while the solar car experience has improved my problem solving and teamwork skills. I'm interested in an internship with your company because I'd like to apply my technical design knowledge to the products your company manufactures. I'm very interested in the position you posted on Handshake and I applied for it last week. Are you able to tell me more about that position and when you hope to interview? Asking questions is important because it shows your curiosity and allows you to demonstrate that you know something about the company and what they're involved in. Other examples of questions to include are, what are typical entry level positions for this position at your company? Are there opportunities for mentorship and professional development? If so, what do those look like? What strategies and plans does your company have to increase diversity in your workplace? And what are the next steps in the hiring process? During your conversation, an employer may direct you to apply online. Don't be discouraged as this is a normal part of the process. Employers often take notes on their conversations with students and use those notes to decide which candidates they want to invite to a formal interview. Before you leave the conversation, ask for their contact information and their preferred method of follow-up and thank them for their time. After the career fair, reflect on the employers you met and the opportunities you learned about. If you're interested in keeping in touch with an employer or in applying to an open position, send a thank you email within a few days of the fair. Remind the person of where you met and mention something unique about your conversation. Express appreciation for their time and the information they shared with you. If you're applying to an open position, reiterate your interest and qualifications. If networking to learn more about the company, ask to set up an informational interview. Since attending the fair is a new experience for many, former CSE students have advice to share about how to make the most of the event and how to best prepare. I think students should go to a career fair because it gives you a lot of exposure to what sorts of companies are hiring for CSE majors. I know personally, I didn't know that a lot of companies were looking for chemistry majors or that there were chemist roles in a lot of companies and that was something that I found really helpful about the fair. I think career fairs are great. I've been to, I think, five uh, in my collegiate career and it's a really, really unique opportunity, not only because there's so many companies there specifically looking for undergraduate students, which is, which is very unique. My sophomore year, I was able to actually gain an internship from the career fair, and I was also able to gain an internship from the career fair my junior year. It's also a great way to just get contacts within your field of study. I know a lot of people that I've met in the career fair that I have used for future contacts for internships, full-time jobs, and even co-op placements. I prepared for the career fair by having my resume reviewed by the Career Center. That was really helpful because an expert looked over my, review, my resume and gave me tips on how to improve it. I would say the number one way to handle nervousness or anxiety before the career fair is to practice. If you go into the career fair and it's your first time ever saying your elevator pitch, your introduction to the employers, you might be a little nervous and not be sure about what to say. However, you can practice with friends, family, or whoever else might be supportive and that will really help your confidence going into the fair. Yeah, it's, it's a little intimidating at first, uh, the first couple of times, and that's why I'm grateful that I went as a freshman just to kind of get my feet wet and, and get used to it, but it, it was very good and they're all very, very kind and, and again, looking for undergraduate students and so it, it's a very easy conversation and uh, they're very open to, to connecting with you if, if you're interested in their company. Just go to the career fair. I can't tell you how much value you can get out of it, even just going for 30 minutes to one hour, even just to see what companies are there, and then maybe going back the second day with your resume printed out, with a game plan. Uh, you never really know what could come of it.
CSC students and alumni who've graduated in the past year are welcome to make a 30 minute appointment or attend career fair drop ins for quick questions and resume reviews. The career services website is available at all times and contains resume samples and templates, alumni career outcomes information, sample interview questions, and job and internship search help. If you're interested in additional prep assistance, CSE Career Services is offering workshops and events in the week before the career fair, such as resume writing, career fair prep, the CSC co-op information session, interviewing strategies, and job offer and negotiation strategies. All of the events will be held in Lynn Hall, room 325, from 12.15 to 1 p.m. on the day they're scheduled. There'll also be an International Student Career Fair Prep Session on Wednesday, January 31st, from 12 to 1, which is virtual. You can find information about all of these events at the CSC Career Fair website. We will also be partnering with employers for Practice Interview Day on Friday, February 2nd. You can search for this event in the Jobs tab in Handshake to sign up for a virtual practice interview with an employer to get valuable feedback. We hope you learned some helpful tips from this presentation and wish you the best at the career fair.